As late as 1951, the chemical structure of DNA remained a tantalizing enigma. At Cambridge University in England, biologists James Watson and physicist Francis Crick had been working to unlock the secrets of the DNA molecule. But they weren't alone. Several other groups of competing scientists were hard at work trying to solve the same puzzle. Some important facts about DNA were already known. For instance, scientists knew that DNA was composed of four bases, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. They also had been able to infer something about its structure with the help of X-ray crystallography. This technique involved passing an X-ray beam through a crystallized DNA molecule and capturing a vague, shadowy image of its internal structure on a photographic plate. Armed with this information, along with their own knowledge of chemical structure, Watson and Crick began building a three-dimensional model of DNA. I wanted an arrangement, you know, where I had a big and a small molecule, and uh, somehow you had to, to form link bonds. Here's uh, A, and here's T, and uh, I wanted this hydrogen to point directly at this nitrogen, so I had something like this. Ooh. So then I went to the, the pair, and I wanted this nitrogen to point to this one. And I went like this. Whoa. Today, you can buy a kit and assemble the structure that Watson and Crick put together. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Watson and Crick needed more data. With the help of physicist Maurice Wilkins, they gained access to an X-ray picture of a DNA molecule that had been taken by his research partner. Her name was Rosalind Franklin. Without her knowledge, Watson and Crick used the data from that X-ray image and successfully completed their model. In a 1953 issue of Nature magazine, Watson and Crick revealed their amazing discovery to the world. Their model showed that the DNA molecule was a double helix. The twin strands were composed of pairs of the four known bases linked together by hydrogen bonds. And the whole structure corkscrew like a spiral ladder, which could easily pull apart in order to make copies of itself with the same encoded genetic information. Watson and Crick had won the race. The discovery of the structure of DNA sparked a scientific revolution. It illuminated the molecular and biochemical foundation of life in a whole new way. It opened doors for areas of research and other great discoveries that few ever imagined possible. As for Watson and Crick, their discovery of the double helix, along with Maurice Wilkins, won them a share of the 1962 Nobel Prize. And what of Wilkins' colleague, Rosalind Franklin? Despite her contribution to the discovery, she wasn't considered for the 62 prize. The rules state that it can only be awarded to a living recipient. Rosalind Franklin died in 1958 of ovarian cancer, most likely caused by exposure to x-rays.